If we must become something in this form, I hope to be myself. No matter what happens along the way, no matter what successes or shortcomings befall me, I want to be able to stand on my own two feet at the end of this journey and say, I am still me. Player this pimp don't lie, how many rap stars you know that went to Berkeley High? I'm always with a cup of bourbon, I'm in here choosing, you up here searching. Yo, yo, yo. Welcome to the show, everybody. It's me, Ben, and welcome back to a brand new video. My friends, my a to d friends, it is comeback season. And the ATs boys have dropped a music video just now entitled Turbulence ahead of their album dropping in about a week, I think is when it's dropping, right? It's on like the 10th or something, which is gonna be interesting because I have to be on a flight on the 10th. So I hope I'm able to react to the album and the music video before I gotta go because that would be terrible if I wasn't able to do that. Anyway, welcome back to the channel. Hopefully everybody's having a great day so far. Leave a like on the reaction if you enjoy as per usual. I have not seen this much hype for a music video on social media in a minute. And by that I mean, I've had well over 20, I think different people at me on Twitter or mentioned me on Twitter today in the last like 10 hours saying, oh my God, Ben, oh my God, Ben, oh my God, Ben. Turbulence, turbulence, turbulence. So. And that, and I mean, it's also 80s, right? When I listen to a new 80s song, I expect the world and oftentimes the 80s boys do end up giving it to me. Um, so welcome back. Let's get straight to it. Before we get into it though, before we get into it though, as per usual, y'all, we've been streaming 80s content every single Sunday over on my Twitch. Twitch is completely free to use. Um, so if you'd like to come over and hang out and watch more 80s content with us, hit me up over on Twitch. Link is in the description. Um, and we'll be live this Sunday watching more 80s content too. So come through, it's a lot of fun. Okay. 80s, Turbulence. No other new songs today, it's just Turbulence. We get the rest of the album in about a week. Let's do this thing, shall we? 80s, Turbulence, three, two, one, click play. Let's go, baby, let's go. See if I can keep it together here. Because suppo uh, supposedly people are saying this one might be uh, a little emotional. Hey, I know this sound. Is that like a new logo, the little wings? On his, on his, on his sweater? You know. Wow, I didn't realize Soho was pink. And it distorted us. Vocals. Yosa. Oh my god, Mingi. I'm sorry. That that hit me like a like a like a freight train. I don't know. <laughs> I'm still I'm still in that like like Mingi's been back. Mingi's been with the boys, right? But I have it it still feels like Mingi had been gone for so long that every time I do see Mingi, I still just get so happy immediately just because he's here. You know what I mean? <laughs> anyway, okay. We're going again. Okay. And he came in with that sort of raspy sound and intensity, so pretty. Ooh, young. Uh, it's so pretty. To be myself, barely. Wow, Drago. Wow. Sing it, Sod. Wow. Fix on. Wow. And let no 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 no. That hits a little different. That hits a little different. Yo, I'm not um I, I like to think that I keep up with as much content from all of my favorite groups as I possibly can, but there's plenty of things that I'm not able to watch. And one of those things are mainly things like V Lives and stuff like that, live live little shows that they do. I don't really know if Mingi has gotten the chance to talk to us about his break, um, but that sort of feels like to me, because I haven't really gotten to hear anything about that, those lyrics felt like he was just describing it to me as if that's what he was feeling. I'm not putting words in his mouth, right? He might, might not be the case at all, but that's what it feels like to me. 
And that's very impactful. Fix on. Wow. I'm scared. Sick and tired. Ugh. Hog, I love you. Ugh. Oh, I have chills all over my body. Okay. <sighs> that view of the city behind Jono is crazy. Damn. It's not even, it's not even, it's not even just... Is anyone listening? I feel like, I feel like anyone who's struggling in regard to anything, it could be in regard to anything, um, has probably felt that at some point. Is anyone listening? But they take it a step further past, is anyone listening? Can someone just embrace me? And I take that multiple ways. I say, I think, that can be taken two different ways. Like, embrace me like, you know, give me a hug, right? But also just embrace me as in like, can someone please just meet me here and just like stay with me here? I've found that throughout my, my own journey and through the journey of my, my closer friends who I get to talk to on like a more daily basis, um, oftentimes, in, at least in my cases, I'm not a therapist, okay? This is not supposed to be like a, that's, I'm, I'm just speaking from my own experience here, okay? Um, something that I've found is really important is that people just need someone to meet them where they are. And sometimes they don't even need advice or um, they don't even necessarily need someone to say, it's gonna be okay. Um, for somebody like me, Oftentimes, it's just enough to have somebody there that's willing to listen to me fully. And the lyric, can someone just embrace me? That's what that reminds me of in my own life, is that when I'm able to have somebody just sit with me um, and let me just talk all of it out, I feel so much better after that. Um, and I feel like I'm able to grow and move on in a much better way just because I had somebody listen to me. You know what I mean? I had somebody embrace me in that way. It's This is a really powerful song, bro. This is really, 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 really powerful. <sighs> Can somebody just embrace me? Oh my God. Damn. All right, bridge time. Wow. The airplane. I have goosebumps all over my body. Is he gonna run? He's gonna run. Wow, Jongo. San too. San was doing a high note there too, just a different one. He took off completely. We're gonna go back. We're gonna go back. Jongo, what the hell, bro? I'm definitely going back. If we must become something in this form, I hope to be myself. No matter what happens along the way, no matter what successes or shortcomings befall me, I want to be able to stand on my own two feet at the end of this journey and say, I am still me. I don't know if I have ever related to a lyric more in my life. I have the best job in the world. 
I get to sit down and talk about music with y'all. It's my absolute favorite thing to do in the world, and I get to do it as a full-time job. I'm so blessed. I'm so lucky. I'm so fortunate. But it doesn't come without its challenges. Being on camera a lot for me is fun, but it's also very taxing and very trying on my mental health sometimes. And oftentimes I find myself thinking because of, whether it's because of like comments here or there, or if it's just my own brain getting to me, which is mainly my own problem. My brain gets to me more than other people do tenfold. But um, all of those things together, plus, you know, outside pressures and things here and there that happen in life and things that happen to everybody um, are things that I have to go through as well. But I find myself often just thinking introspectively and going, am I, am I still me? Am I staying true to myself? Because if I, I obviously always prioritize like transparency and trying to be as genuine as possible with y'all because that's what makes the reaction a lot more fun. Um, and that's what y'all have told me you've enjoyed about my channel. So I'm going to continue to do that to the best of my ability. But I find myself oftentimes, very often actually, um, really struggling to make sure and sort of like trying to make sure that I stay on track with who I want to be. Because if I lose that along the way, all of this is pointless. I don't remember where I was going with that, but I think I described it in a way that I think a lot of y'all will relate to. So we're gonna keep going with the song, but, oh man, ATs, ATs gave us a good one. They gave us a, they gave us a good one. I think, I haven't talked about this, but I think you know, starting this part off is extra significant for me because he just personifies sunshine. He just is sunshine. So to have this part come through, it's very like intense and we have that pause and then it's just you know's voice coming in. It's so gorgeous to me. Wow, bro. Been a minute since I was this close to crying in a reaction, man. I hope to be myself. And I hope you feel the same way. I want the same thing for you. I hope you feel the same way as me. I want to be able to stand on my own two feet at the end of this journey, whenever that may be. And I want to be able to be proud of myself for continuing to be me through it all, throughout all the challenges, like I said, all the successes even, because success can change you too. Um, remaining yourself through all of that is so important. And I want that for y'all too. Whatever y'all are trying to accomplish, whatever like struggles y'all are going through, if y'all have a goal in mind, or even if you don't have a goal in mind right now, and you just feel like you're walking along trying to find the next thing, that would be something that's really exciting for you. I just hope that at the end of that, you also are still able to feel like you're yourself. This is, oh, and this is something that I don't really feel like is talked about. Like we could, if I'm like blanketing everything and we're just talking about mental health, right? That's just, I mean, that's sort of like the main sort of overarching theme that I'm getting from this one. Doesn't necessarily have to be the thing that you're getting from this, but I feel like we, we, det we discuss and we talk about mental health plenty. We could talk about it more. We could always talk about it more uh, and make it even more of a, a discussion. But this is like a, an area that I have not really experienced from a song before or at least a song that's been promoted before. Um, God, this is some good shit, bro. Oh, wow. And now it's not just, is anyone listening to me because I'm struggling? It's like, is anyone listening to me? I want you to feel good too. I want you to be successful too. Embrace me in your warm arms. <laughs> Through all of the struggle, just keep flying. Damn, bro. That Jongo note. <sighs> I think it's Mingi, right? Mingi has a lyric. Um, at the beginning of his part 
that says something about like um, something about like fallen wings or clipped wings, whatever it is. Um, and then after we get through that bridge and we're on to the sort of last chorus, the lyrics change and the lyric is now something along the lines of keep flying. Even if those wings of yours get clipped, find a way to take off again. Doesn't matter how long it takes to heal those wings. Doesn't ma matter how long it takes to, to fix them up, patch them up, make sure they're in working condition again. Try to take off again. And keep trying to take off. Because that's what's most important. That's what's most important. <sighs> I'm gonna dip. This reaction's been long enough. Thank y'all for watching. Leave a like on the video if you enjoyed it. Um, catch y'all on Sunday for some more AT's action over on Twitch. You already know, every single Sunday. Um, and I'll catch y'all in a little bit for the rest of the album. And if this is how they're coming on this album, it looks like we're all in for an absolute treat. The AT's boys could not miss if you paid them to. Woo, I didn't cry though. I got real close like multiple times, but I didn't cry. I might still cry. Sometimes that happens when I turn off the camera, then it just happens to me. Um, I'm gonna dip. Till next time, my friend. Love y'all very much, and peace. Bye.